Hey everybody, Sean here from BoardParacord.com. I am going to show you the back-to-back -back bar. It's basically uh, two Solomons that are made kind of to intertwine with each other. And today I've got Lime Diamonds, which is a yellow and black diamond pattern, and a yellow. Now, I call it Lime Diamonds only because when it's with the black right here, it kind of has like a greenish look to it. That's the only reason. Um, we're going to get the Lime Diamonds out of the way for now, but we'll bring it right back real quick. And the yellow, what I want to do is I want to find my center point. So I put the two ends together, run it through my fingers, and there's my center point. So the trick with doing one color on a bracelet is you can just kind of flip the loop right over the buckle and have your cows hitch. And what I mean by that, start with the big side, because some of these buckles have a bigger opening than the other. So we're just going to push this up through the bottom, from the bottom, open that loop, take it around the buckle, and pull it tight. And that gives you your cow's hitch, just as if you were to do it the other way. So we're going to tighten that up, flip the buckle over, run it through your fingers again, and then run your paracord up through the bottom of the buckle, and pull this through. So what this is doing, this is basically giving you your inner strands to work around. So these are the inner strands that you're going to do your weave over. Basic shape of your bracelet there. So now we can open this up. Open this up. One part of your buckle is going to go to the top, the other down at the bottom, and then your paracord is going to be coming up through from the bottom. The right cord off to the right, left cord off to the left, and if I had a tape measure here, I would measure this, but I don't, so we're just going to say that's good. <laughs> I think that, that'll be alright. There we go. Now, what we want, oh, and I forgot to tell you, I have about 8 feet of each color yellow and 8 feet of the lime diamond. So, just to keep that in mind, when I get to the end, I'll let you know how much I cut off of it. I should be pretty close, though, I think. So, you can start with either side. What I want to do is the left side, create a loop. I'm going to zoom in on this just a little so you can see what's going on here. I'm going to create a loop on the left, take it over the, the, the center strands there, take your right cord over the left one that you just did, take it around the back, and bring it up through that loop. And pull this tight, kind of get it cinched right up right up to the buckle, as tight as you can, just like that. Actually, what I forgot to do is we got to loosen this. Sorry about that. What I've got to do is get this Lime Diamonds integrated into this. So, basically what you're going to have here is kind of a tunnel. And you can kind of see it right there. There's a hole right there in the center. We're just going to string this right through there. So you're going underneath of these top two here but you're going over top of the center strand. Okay, we're just going to pull this through, find your center point. And that's probably pretty close. All right, now we can pull this tight. So once you did your first Solomon or Cobra, actually I think this is going to be a little too short, so I'm going to make this a little longer. There we go. Alright, so get that nice and tight. So what you're going to do now is basically the yellow is going to be my top Solomon. The Lime Diamonds is going to be my bottom Solomon. And it's kind of hard to explain. Um, but what we're going to do, we're going to take our right, our right cord from our lime diamonds. So we'll get the yellow out of the way. Get the yellow out of the way. Grab your lime diamonds and we're going to do the same thing we did with the yellow but with the lime. So, But this this time we're going to do it on the right side. Create the loop on the right. Take your left cord over the right behind the back and up through that loop on the right. Pull it tight. So then that gives you your your other Solomon for the Lime Diamonds. 
Alright, now we'll get the lime diamonds out of the way. Pull your yellows down. So, the last time we did this, we created a loop on the left. Now we're going to create the loop on the right. And the easy way that you can tell, this part that comes over top and then under, so it's coming over the center and then under and then going off to the right, that's the one that you continue that loop. So you're going to continue that one. And what, what's going to happen is that this cord is actually going to go over top every single time. And this cord is going to go underneath every single time. So create the loop on the left. I'm, not, I'm sorry, on the right. Go over your, your right cord with the left one, behind the back, and up through. And then pull that tight. And what will start to happen is we'll start to see this diamond pattern coming through. And when we flip it over, it'll look just like the yellow side, but it will be the diamond side. Alright, so we'll do that, get the yellows out of the way. Now the hardest part is remembering which one goes on top. So we did the right loop, so this time we're going to do the left side loop. Cross your right over top, go behind the back, and through the loop. Pretty easy. Pull that tight and push it up. Just going to make sure that the yellow is nice and tight. Now you also want to cinch this up after each tie. So you want to hold the center strands and kind of push everything toward the buckle. Alright, get that line diamonds out of the way again. And we're going to do a loop on the left because it's going over the center and under and off to the left. So that's the side you're going to do your loop on. It doesn't get much easier than this one. You're just using the, the same basic technique as the Cobra or the Salomon. And once I get this one done, now see we flip this over and you got the same design going on over here. So, I'm going to finish this up. Just remember to remember uh, which side you're going to do your loop on. And if you look at the yellow here, you can kind of see that it kind of just snakes through there. And that's what you're going for. Because if you put this one behind now, it's supposed to be on top, but if you put it behind, that snake kind of goes behind. So you don't want to do that. So just keep in mind that I'll do one more here of the uh, lime diamonds. And then cut away and I'll be back to show you how to finish this up. So while I was talking, I kind of just did it, so sorry about that. But that's really all there is to it. This is a pretty nice one when it's all done. It looks pretty cool. It's reversible, so if you've got some flat buckles or if you're using a... Um, you can also use a shackle make this reversible. Uh, but there it is, and I'll be back. Okay, so now, now that I'm down to the bottom here, I want to show you what I've been doing. I've been flipping this over every time I switch colors. It makes it much easier to follow which side to create the loop on. I've already finished up on the side with the diamonds, so I only have enough room for one more. So let's do that real quick, and then I'll show you what we can do to snip these ends. So we'll just do one more here real quick. When you do your last one, you want to make sure that you're below the cow's hitch, so it kind of just sits right inside of there. And I'm probably going to have myself a couple blisters. I've never had that before, but you do have to pull this really tight to keep the, the pattern nice and consistent. So if you've got some gloves, like some batting gloves or golf gloves, anything real thin, that would kind of help out. I should have worn mine. But I'm going to have a blister right there, I think. And I've never gotten a blister when doing doing this. But anyways, um, this should be tight enough to where we can finish these right here without having to worry about them coming back through the hole. So I'm just going to cut these right where they're at. Grab my scissors. You want to cut just enough here so that when you melt it, it kind of melts down. Got a lot of cords here to keep out of the way. 
really hard to melt these ends when you can't see them. And I grab my smoothing tool here. There we go. I think that'll work. Got a little bit of a hard edge right there though, so I wanna kind of just hit that real quick and then smooth it over before it has time to, to solidify. Got one more here. Good, perfect. And off to the yellow side. Yeah, so the I thought the best way to do this at first was just gonna be to you know keep everything on one side and just remember which side the loop was on. But I found out quickly that it's easier just to flip it over as you're going. Oh, and the uh, traveling paracord project is on its way to the first person. So pretty soon here, I would say middle of next week, probably three days from now, um, they will have it in hand and hopefully we'll start seeing some pictures of where it travels, or where it traveled to. All right, get this one pulled tight. I think it'll turn out really good when it's all done. All right, well, that's the back-to-back -back bar. Hope you like it. I hope the instructions were clear, good uh, good enough for you to make one of these. It is a little bit thicker, so you do want to go a little heavy on, on the length at the beginning. Um, but definitely looks good. I really like the way this looks. Usually if you do a single solid um, Solomon or Cobra, the inner, you can't really change the inner colors, but you can with this one because the inner strands are on the other side. If that made any sense. Sorry about that guys. Again, <laughs> uh, having some issues with uh, my memory card. Not enough time on there, so I had to delete a few files. But anyways, check us out on the Facebook group. You'll see this posted along with the video. And you'll see a lot of other people showing off their work. So come join in on the discussion. Facebook.com slash groups slash paracord on. And until next time, thanks for watching, hit that subscribe button, and paracord on.